Just because I invest in gold doesn't mean I love money. Hello future investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. Today I want to talk to you about the fact that there's a huge stigma that surrounds people who like talking about finances and people who like trying to better their financial situation. And now I'm talking from personal experience. You may not have found the same experiences, so make sure you let me know your experiences on this topic in the comment section below. But what I'm actually referring to is, in my life, I have talked to a lot of friends, a lot of family about future investments, close friends and family that I trust, I've talked about future investments with, and of course, that topic of some conversation always goes to, towards the fact that it's about gold and silver. And then I've also spoke to people about the fact that, you know, I like saving, I always like trying to think about where I could invest next. And I found more times than not, you kind of get this peculiar look on people's faces while they're listening to you. And I'm almost reading their face as I'm telling them, you know, my financial plans, my current financial situation and my investing goals. And it's weird because normally the person has asked the question, so I would volunteer the information. It's not like I've just gone out in a random part of a conversation and started talking about gold and my ambitions and investment goals and all that sort of thing. That's, that's not how it happens. It's normally through a topic of conversation and mutual conversation where this specific topic will come up. And I do find that not everyone, because I'm not trying to paint everyone with the same brush here, but I get this vague look on people's faces of maybe two things. And one of them is I have absolutely no clue what you're talking about. And I would say I get that look more when I'm talking about hedging against inflation, the benefits to invest in intangible gold, Obviously, a lot of people don't know about this and understandably, they don't understand. So they look at me with a sort of bewilderment and I can read it in their face that they're trying to soak in this unusual, but what seems like important information they've never heard before. But they, they give you this look of vagueness. So that would be one part. But the biggest thing I've experienced is I do feel like when I'm talking to someone who maybe isn't financially having that sort of mindset, I, I feel like I'm coming across as arrogant or maybe shallow. Or sometimes I feel like maybe they're thinking I'm shallow because all I talk about in this specific moment is investing and, 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 and hedging against inflation and financial assets. And I feel like some people maybe think I'm shallow because... To be frank, maybe I'm good at finances. I, I think personally I am good at finances. You know, I've never been someone that's earned a ridiculous amount of money. I've not particularly earned bad money, but I'm no way in like the top percent brackets or anything like that. I'm probably in a good percentage for my age, but really I'm probably at just above average in sort of earnings from my full-time job. So it's nothing unbelievable. But I've always had the sort of mindset of how to save and how to spend. And when I was younger, I definitely didn't have that good balance. I was more about just saving and being very tight and I didn't spend much money at all. Whereas now as I've got older, I've realised that, you know, you can't take it with you and it is important to spend it and enjoy it as much as you invest and, and save. So there is a balance. But on the topic of what I was originally talking about, yeah, I do feel like when I'm talking to someone who isn't financially minded, I have this feeling that they think I'm shallow and that all I care about is money and materialistic things. And that couldn't be further from the truth because it's not true. I don't love money. And to be honest with you, sometimes it can become a stress having money. And I know I know that sounds terrible because there's people out there that would think, oh my God, poor you, it's stressful having money. And I totally get that. There's people out there who who don't have enough money to eat. But what I'm trying to get at is, uh, bear in mind, I'm talking my audience is people who invest and are financially minded. So I'm hoping this topic hits the right sort of people I'm looking to talk to about it with. But there may be some people out there that it doesn't. But hey-ho, that's part of, part of YouTube. But yeah, having money and having assets can sometimes become a good problem to have, if that's the right way of putting it. It's difficult, you know, it's hard to moan about having, being fortunate in life, 
But that's human nature. We moan about things in our lives that we deem a, an issue. And, and I'm not saying this is an issue by any means. I love investing and I really enjoy tangible gold. But yeah, the, when I when I talk to someone who who hasn't necessarily got that mindset of being bothered or has never really considered thinking about how to look after their wealth i i feel like i'm being looked at as as if i'm shallow that all i care about is is gold and money and that's not true i don't care about money i care about making a better future for myself and having the best life possible and i'm not you know in my opinion i think you need money to do that of course there's people out there who like to travel and are naturists and they're probably some of the most happy people on earth and they haven't got a penny to their name but every person is different with what they want to do i love the idea of traveling but i also love the idea of not spending that money on a holiday and buying a tangible piece of gold that's just comes down to personal preference but i do think that there is a little bit of a stigma with people hating on people who care about looking after their finances yes i like investing and i really enjoy saving and trying to do well with my finances because it 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 feels good to know you're in a secure position because there's a lot of stresses in life and i think to eliminate one of those stresses being financially is a massive deal and i love the fact that i could potentially go out and buy a lot of things that i want and that's just my personal preference but it doesn't mean i love money because i don't love money i think money causes a lot of problems you know i won't go into it too much because i don't want to get in, in, into a topic of being miserable but um my point i'm trying to get across here is i don't love money i'm not obsessed with finances and 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 this sort of thing but i do enjoy trying to better my life and make smart investments and I think there's a lot of stigma out there that if you're somebody that talks about finances a lot, it's a very taboo subject. You'll quite often hear the topic of how much someone asking somebody, how much money do you make a year? And nine times out of 10, they'll be like, I'm not telling you that because it's a, it's a, it's a very touchy subject. And I can understand why people don't want them knowing how much they earn. But to me, it's never really been that big of an issue. I couldn't care, you know, because it's what I earn. It doesn't it doesn't affect what you earn. I get things are private, so I'm not saying you shouldn't go out and tell people what you earn. But there is definitely a taboo-ness about finances and investing and money. And I tend to find the people that are maybe in debt or don't have that mindset are the ones that are more against being open to, you know, finances and investing and financial freedom. Maybe a good way of explaining to some people about precious metals wouldn't be going straight with the numbers. It would be about the benefits. And, and normally I do talk about hedging against inflation and stuff like that. I suppose one of the difficult things in terms of talking about gold is you're limited to who you can talk to about it with because it's tangible. And obviously you own valuable assets that really you don't want people particularly knowing you have. So it's difficult to talk to people about the real meaning of gold and that you have it and the other day i was at work actually and the topic of gold came up and the the price of platinum and palladium and of course as soon as i heard them talking about precious metals my ears picked up and i went over and took part in the conversation and really enjoyed myself and i, I got the look of he knows a lot about this that i didn't expect he would know and obviously that's because we do this here on future investments and youtube but i couldn't tell them that you know i'm an investor and that I have future investments because it's something that I wish to remain anonymous for for now for security reasons of course but uh, yeah it was it was fun to talk to people about it and this particular conversation I had they seemed relatively open minded however because I wasn't indirectly talking about it as if I had it I think that would make the topic different in terms of the conversation because I think maybe some people could be jealous or maybe some people think he pretends he knows what he's talking about. So yeah, it's a difficult topic to, to talk about, but I think it's good to talk about your finances. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I definitely don't love money and I'm not shallow in terms of finances. I don't really care about that. I'm just trying to secure a better future for myself. And that's all it comes down to. It's not about loving money. It's about securing your future and trying to make smart decisions to make your life just that little bit easier. 
So a bit of a weird topic this one, but I really did want to speak to you guys about it and see what you think. So let me know in the comment section below if you think there is a tabooness with finances or if you think maybe I'm just being a bit paranoid and maybe no one is thinking that when I'm talking to them about investing. So let me know. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys. To watch another episode here on Future Investments, click the link now.